you're looking for autofocus and have a camera that doesn't support it, or use cinema lenses or manual lenses that need autofocus, I think we have the thing for you. Uh, this company reached out to me when they first had their follow focus system, and that was the Aris 2. And I've been using it ever since, and it's great. You've got a nice little controller. It's perfect for smaller cameras. I've even used it on some of my bigger cameras, and I've had that for over a year, maybe almost a year and a half, maybe two years actually. Really love their product. So when I saw this product come out, I reached out to them and asked if I can test this just to see if it's worthwhile and if the LiDAR works. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, I have not tried any other LiDAR systems. I know that uh, DJI has their own uh, system, but this was interesting to me. Now I have two follow focus systems that I can use to control my uh, aperture and I can control my focus or my zoom if need be. So actually a total of three, which if you are shooting on a film set and you wanna step away from the camera and have full control over that, it's really great. But having the autofocus, I wanted to actually test it on a camera like the Ursa that doesn't have autofocus and the new Blackmagic that's coming out, which we're waiting for. But in the meantime, I'm using this on an FX3. This is a 35 millimeter lens. Um, and just to show you, there's no one behind camera. I'll put uh, some behind the scenes as I'm doing this, but the actual uh, control of it and the focus distance works really, really well. Um, as you can see, it's following me, not a problem. Now, how you position this on your lens is hugely important as well. So if you were, let's say, right aligning it um, and you step a little too much over to the left where the lens kind of covers it, you're not gonna get um, the perfect focus as you can see there, but it's capturing this. Um, so it really works really well. I've had it now for, I don't know, about a week, um, testing it on different things, uh, smaller product stuff as well, just to see how well it kind of reacts. So far, pleasantly surprised. Um, the reality of it, the setup was probably the hardest part. I was a little confused on how to do it, but uh, once I did it, I mean, the results have been great. So again, this is a 35 millimeter uh, cine lens. Uh, not a problem uh, getting the focus and it's nice the way it breathes it's not you know jarring by any means uh, I do want to do a few more tests and see what that's like stepping back going forward good yeah let's get close so I wanted to do a few tests on different scenarios, different lighting, uh, movements. I just want to make sure that I can track uh, if I was using a slider or a dolly um, and also just see how fast and responsive it is. What's great about it is you can actually uh, control the speed uh, of the motor itself, uh, which is helpful, but really trying different scenarios um, and see how it locks on. Um, the motor, again, placed on the right hand side is typically where you would put it but I noticed when I put it up higher up top almost a horizontal as opposed to vertical on certain scenarios work better so you know again you can kind of play around with that and I'm sure there's some tips uh, on their site about that but overall performance was pretty spot on now who is this for I would say this is perfect for a run and gun shooter who is using cinema lenses um, and you know regardless of the camera body size i think the motors are pretty strong and work well with some of the heavy cinema lenses i own so i do i wouldn't worry too much about that so i think it's a perfect fit for you know whatever camera you're using and the fact that it's wireless is really a huge benefit what do you get in the box well you get a 15 millimeter hot shoe clip focus ring multifunctional fixture batteries and chargers 15 millimeter rod another battery charger you've got extended hand wheel and the universal grip now they have two models one is the pdl afx and the model i have is the pdl afx ra that comes with the hand unit uh, the other one does not um, if you don't use uh, the hand unit you can go with that one it's a little bit cheaper 
um, and if you go with the one with the hand unit it's a little bit pricier but not much so it, it's up to you um, and your use case So what are the pros? One, it's small size, really easy to install, long battery life, and the remote control via Bluetooth. It's got a high torque motor, which really helps push the bigger cinema lenses around without a problem. And I know it seems silly going, well, I can just use an autofocus lens and we're good to go. You're 100% right. But not all cameras have autofocus uh, when we get there and everything works perfectly. That's a different story. But for now, uh, for cameras that don't have autofocus or you want to use PL mounted lenses or cine lenses um, that don't have autofocus, this is the solution for it. So again, as you can see, great control here. Not a problem. Um, coming all the way from the back, good. Nothing more uh, to say, but this works flawlessly um, if you set it up right. Good job, PD Movie. You did a great job. This is a nice little piece of kit. Peace.